really kind of sad that we don't get to do it in the classroom together, but I am so happy that you guys signed up to do this with me at home. So I have in front of me my own duck hatching field kit, and today is Monday, May 11th. So we're not yet on our calendar, we're kind of here on this day. Sunday was yesterday, and Monday is today. So we don't have anything to color yet, we don't have the duck eggs yet. They come on the day that we have the incubator picture. So we are right here, so we have one, two days until we get our eggs. So today is Monday, so we don't need our calendar yet. I'm gonna put that back in the box. But we are gonna look at our duck hatching field kit. So if you have your duck hatching field kit journal, can you please grab that out and let's get started. Okay, so let's turn to the page that looks like this. It says, getting started at the top. Find that page in your book. So we actually can't do a lot of this page, but we can do one part of it. And this one says, we are incubating eggs. And guess how many duck eggs we're going to get? We're gonna have seven duck eggs in our incubator. So we can write the number seven on that first line there. If you need more time to write, just pause the video. Otherwise, we're gonna go to the next page now that looks like this. Find this page in your book. So this page is called Hatching the Eggs, and we're gonna fill out the whole thing. So the first part of our page says, the eggs will hatch in blank days. Do you know how many days it takes for our duck eggs to hatch? We can actually look at our calendar to find the answer to that. Pull out your calendar, and what's the number you see at the very bottom? It's a number two and an eight. That's 28 days it takes for our duck eggs to hatch. Let's go back to our journal and fill that number in on the line. We'll write the number 28 on that top line. It's important to know that a mummy duck actually stops turning her eggs after 26 days. We're gonna learn more about that tomorrow when we talk about the incubator, but for now, let's write the number 26 on that line because after 26 days, we're going to stop turning the eggs over. After 26 days, we stop turning them, but do you know why? It's so they don't get all confused when they hatch. So we need to stop turning them and wait. That's our next word. We're going to wait. Can you write that word on the line? If you need more time, just pause me. But do you know what we're waiting for? We're waiting to see if they will hatch. That's why we stop turning the eggs. We wait to see if they will hatch. Can you write the word hatch on that next line? All right, and then the very last spot says, a baby duck is called a, do you know what a baby duck is called? It's called a duckling, that's right. A duckling is the name of a baby duck. So we're gonna write the word duckling on the last line. If you need to pause to catch up, pause me to write all of those words and then come on back. When we get to draw the pictures, we'll get to do those in lots and lots of colors. So we should have this whole page filled in today. A little bit of this page filled in, a bit hard to see there. There it is. And then tomorrow, you're going to come on back here and we're going to talk about, and I'll introduce you to our incubator for you to see where our ducks are going to live for the next 28 days before they hatch. So if you've got everything filled out in your book for today, take a picture of it after you're done and send that to us on CISA. That's your activity for today is just send us a picture of your completed book. Even you working on the book with your little egg if you wanted. I can't wait. See you guys tomorrow. Bye!